Residents of Hene Muleria in Kurunagal obstructed work on the second phase of the Central Expressway for a third consecutive day today. The protesters charged that they have not been provided with proper compensation and added that the project, which is earlier promised to be constructed on pillars, is now being built at ground level by filling up lands. Discussions between officials in charge of the construction and area residents took place at the Nailia Vihade in Kurunagala. Since January we have not been provided with any compensation. An assessment has not been done as well. We expressed our opposition because the people have not received what was promised. In some occasions estimations have been done but they have not received any money for the past three months. <laughs> How can they fill up lands of the people without any compensation? How can they reclaim farmlands? I'm the keeper of law and order here. We cannot resolve issues by fighting. We have no need to create another Atupasala here. According to area residents, the discussions ended without a result. The discussions were a failure because we did not get what we expected. We discussed the common issues. Since we didn't get a proper response, we left. The engineers cannot answer our questions. They have designed roads on our land and they are filling it up. We have deposited the compensation for the residents to the bank accounts to the Kurunagala Divisional Secretariat area's bank accounts. It will take a couple of days for this to realize. There is a rumor that has spread that only 1.6 kilometers will be built on pillars. In reality, 9.3 kilometers will be built on pillars that minimizes the damage. The threat of floods is thereby minimal. There is a small delay due to the protest. The government suffers a loss because of this as well, as the government will be forced to pay late fees. <laughs> Residents of Venurovatta in the Alava Division of Secretariat area have been forced to endure many challenges that illegal land excavations are taking place to obtain earth for the expressway project. I have been using this well for nearly 35 years. There isn't a drop of water in this well today. I believe this is because of the excavations for the expressway. We are not calling for this construction work to stop. But it needs to be done in a way we have water to drink as well. A discussion was held in Colombo recently to discuss issues experienced in creating environmental impact assessment reports. We remain silent regarding issues relating to environmental assessment laws. There are political influences and we have seen their repercussions. The Uma Oya is the best example. They granted approvals but when the issues started to crop up, they took a look at the environmental impact assessment report and realized it was not complete. This project has clearly proven that you cannot commence work on a project and then try to bring about temporary solutions. There is no way for the general public to appeal once approval is granted for a project. Over the past 10 years, there was a drastic increase in the number of large-scale projects in the country. If you look at the situation in Gaul and Matara today, after the construction of the expressway, there are floods for the slightest rainfall. There is a higher risk of floods. So how correct was the assessment reports? Shouldn't written assurances be provided on how compensation will be granted for people affected by the Central Expressway? Similarly, shouldn't assurances be provided that surrounding areas will not be affected by flooding because of the expressway construction?